So I thought it might be interesting to talk about something that I've been real curious about. You know, with all the information we're hearing right now in the news about the COVID and how it's spreading everywhere, I've been thinking about how there's a lot of people that just never seem to get sick. And whereas other people, you know, even a, a seasonal influenza is likely to take them out. And uh, I was just thinking about how a lot of us don't take very good care of ourselves. And if we did, maybe we wouldn't have as many COVID deaths. Now, there was a time in my life where I used to get sick all the time. In my younger years, I was always coming down with bad colds. And over the years, I began to notice there were certain things that when I ate them, uh, they were more likely to trigger colds. And one of them for me was excessive amounts of starchy foods like rice, um, even things like cracked wheat, I'd eat too much of it. And another big one for me was uh, yogurt. I happen to love yogurt, and I used to eat tons of it. I noticed there were several instances where right after eating a lot of yogurt, I'd come down with a, a pretty bad cold. And I thought it'd be interesting to ask other people the same question. In fact, I, I asked a bunch of my friends if they'd notice anything, and one of my lady friends said that sugar was one that for her, not sugar, um, ice cream. Ice cream was one that when she ate too much of it, she'd often end up with a bad cold. And I thought, isn't it interesting that uh, the same ingredients are in ice cream that are in uh, yogurt, or almost the same ingredients? And now yogurt's supposed to be a health food, but I don't know about the, the store-bought stuff we buy. And plus, they put a lot of white sugar in it. And from what I've heard about white sugar, you eat too much of it, it's known to suppress your immune system. Um, the other thing I was going to say, they've noticed that everybody that's died of COVID tend to be low on vitamin D. So maybe we need to be talking more about that in the news and less about vaccines and things of that nature. Now here in my county, we've got, um, I think it's between 82 and 87,000 population. And we've only had, I shouldn't say only, but we've had 22 people die from COVID so far. And as far as I know, they're all elderly people and uh, let me see, we've had 1,139 cases so far. Now in this county, I have to say that a lot of people don't take it very serious and uh, I haven't been that serious about it myself, you know, as far as masking up when you should. And uh, from what I've heard, asymptomatic transmission, that is being able to pass it on when you don't have it is extremely low. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, there's, there's so much conflicting information I hear about this whole thing. I'm just not sure what to think. Anyway, I just thought I'd ask some of you guys out in the audience here, has there ever been something that you've eaten that you noticed or, or repeatedly perhaps that if you ate it, you'd end up with a bad cold? I'd love to hear your take on it. Thanks for listening.